If you're type 2 diabetic, I'm sure you've heard of numerous diabetes natural cures. Some of these natural cures work, and some don't really work at all in my experience. But very few people have even considered trying antioxidants as a way to naturally control their blood sugar. Well I'm going to share with you some compelling reasons for maybe giving antioxidants a try. Antioxidants are very important for a few reasons. First, they neutralize free radicals that we have in our bodies. These properties have been associated with many protective health benefits from many diseases and conditions, such as cancer, aging, vision, and heart disease. But do you know that antioxidants can help with type 2 diabetes? Well they can. In my over 8 years in the medical industry, I've shared the benefits of drinking green tea numerous times, because it is so high in antioxidants, which can lower blood sugar. So what's the big deal about antioxidants? In clinical trials with type 2 diabetics, those with lower levels of antioxidants, were found to have higher rates of blindness, kidney failure, and early death, than those with higher levels of antioxidants in their blood. This if nothing else, is a great reason for adding more antioxidants to your diet. So what are antioxidants? Antioxidants are chemicals, or substances, that prevent oxidation. Oxidation, is the process that creates particles, called free radicals. These free radicals, are responsible for creating chain reactions, that damage and destroy cells in your body. Here's a list of some common antioxidants beta-carotene, and other related carotenoids. Minerals, like selenium, and manganese. Vitamin E, and vitamin C. Vitamin C, and vitamin E are two powerful antioxidants for a few good reasons. Vitamin E, improves insulin sensitivity, by improving the action of insulin, and helps to prevent many of the long-term complications, of type 2 diabetes. Most people with type 2 diabetes, or deficient in vitamin E, it is important that you use a natural vitamin E, with all the tocophenols and tocopterianols factors. Another good one, manganese, is also shown to improve blood sugar control. Type 2 diabetics, have half the manganese levels, to those of non-diabetics. The recommended dosage of manganese, is no more than 30 mg per day. Vitamin C is important for the immune system, and type 2 diabetics tend to have a weakened immune system. The reason for this is, diabetes damages immune system cell function, when it is not controlled. Some foods that are high in vitamin C are, broccoli, red peppers, brussels sprouts, kale, and spinach. Research has also found that type 2 diabetics, should keep their antioxidant levels, up around the recommended dosage of 500 mg of vitamin C, and 800 mg of vitamin E, alpha lipoic acid, or commonly called lipoic acid, or LA is probably the most potent of all antioxidants. It has been studied more widely for its effects on diabetes, and diabetic neuropathy, than any other condition. Its powerful antioxidant effects, were realized when it was shown to prevent symptoms from deficiencies in vitamin C and vitamin E. The thing that makes lipoic acid so special, is that it acts similar to insulin, in the muscle and fat cells. It helps sugar get into the cells. This process is defective in most people with type 2 diabetes. Other studies have shown, that lipoic acid, is very effective at improving nerve damage in diabetes as well. The general recommendation for type 2 diabetics, wishing to supplement lipoic acid into their diet, is 200 mg twice per day. In my over 8 years in the industry, I've learned that type 2 diabetes, isn't really as bad as you may have been told, and is totally controllable, if you do the right things. For the free report, of me breaking down the natural ways to control type 2 diabetes with diet, what really works, and why most natural diabetes diets fail, visit my website, diabetesdietcures.net, now. Prior to using any of this dietary advice, please consult with your physician, 